Gee, thanks. Hey, stop following me, you weirdo! Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. A cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not uh, this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? St stop.
stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes it. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, what are you doing? which you one of us man? is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice. Neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you.
really got the feeling it was him and me back there. You don't know the half. This is the last bit of juice I got on this thing. Breakfast of champions. I see your point. I know what you mean. Everyone in Liberty sells their soul to the devil. Totally! for me. Human society. <laughs> hey, Nico, let's go. 
You know what, man? I grew up real poor. Me too. And I remember the first time I had 10 grand in my hand. After I began dealing and shit, I had 10 grand. Felt good for a while. Because I came from nothing. We didn't have shit. Only an old TV, only old clothes, no books, always the struggle. And suddenly, I had a shitload of money. Crazy, man. You can't ever know what it's like unless you've been real poor. I can't explain that shit. Where I grew up, we had no electricity until I was 12. Oh, shit. My bad. No problem. Shit, son, I ain't in no hurry. <laughs> this place is decent, man. Food should be solid. Hit me up again soon, homie. That was fun. One last cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Becky? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis's funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. You can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye.
And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my God! Get the hell out of the way! Out of here, but I ain't leaving my poor dead brother to the mercy of them animals. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? <laughs> There's a whole lot of air where the back door should be, Nico. Go easy on her, and my brother will fall out. They're following us no more. Thank fuck. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart, rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. All 
Alright, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. to still be using bombs. <laughs> Try, excuse me, you idiot. If you know the bounces that make the noise. from the Alden Estate Correctional Facility? Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. You come down. My breakfast and lunch. That's the truth. Can't wait till this day ends. I've been saying that for a while.
some Rasta? You want to play some pool? Pool? Yeah. Sounds good. And I've got nothing serious going on. I'll head over to your place. Great, Nico. See you soon. <laughs>